Good morning. And as far as backdrops go, this and that are sort of the best things that I have ever woken up to. Welcome to Italy, welcome to Cormier, and welcome to day two of my Michelin mission with Supercars Club of Arabia. And today we're gonna to be hitting these Alpine passes hard in some of the world's best supercars. And ultimately, we're winding our way down to the south of France, concluding in Cannes. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the cars, but importantly, we're gonna be speaking with the members of the club who have flown all the way over from Arabia to enjoy this weather, these cars, and this country. Let's hit it. So this is our day two. Right. Run me through some of your highlights yesterday as day one. All right. Well, there there, there were a lot of those. I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the trip was not was was great. Um, a lot of mountain passes. Yep. Really cool. Uh, beautiful scenery. Uh, the the group amazing. First time you've had your car out of on the Bahrain. On the trips, yes. Amazing. Absolutely. Very it's my cool. first time, and uh, I mean, it was it had everything the first day. So I mistakenly took the body kit on this car for an aftermarket kit but right. it's actually a Lamborghini kit yeah that's what they call a uh, an aero kit it's, it's, so it's Lamborghini's own aero kit yeah it stands out man it looks so good I love how Thanks. contrasting it it all is against the screen and in Bahrain you must hit the track right oh yeah from yeah. time to time from time to time, time, to time. Awesome, man. well day two is lining up to be a great day we're starting in the motherland of fantastic I roads know. and ultimately we're winding our way down to Cannes going to be the perfect end to a perfect day. Yeah, looking All right. forward. Thanks very much, looking man. Looking forward. It's a pleasure. See you Thanks. on the road. Take care. <laughs> yeah, this is Helen. Okay. Helen was the first and only car that ever uh, always participates in all his so theater drives. This Helen. gentleman's not too sure. Yeah. Is it the Ferrari? Is it the Lambo? Okay. <laughs> we, have, it's, it's we have no given for that. Okay. Yeah, the it's picture, a picture, same old. See, Zach, see, Zach, Habib. When you see a Ferrari, you just want to hug it and love it. But when you see a Lamborghini, you say, oh my god, it's a Lamborghini. It's a monster. But this yeah, one is a beautiful lady. It's lake. a full, you know, I'm really honored to be featured with Mr. No, w. I'm honored to be here, man. I was just saying, I've been it's following the, the journeys of uh, FCA since day one. Yeah. I've always wanted to be a fun. participant in no, these man. events. Yes. Unfortunately, I'm only here for two days. No, come on. I'm only here for that this evening. But it's given me a flavor of how awesome the club is and how great the people are. So next time there's an event, we're going to go big. I'm going to no, do the whole should. thing. See, what, see with the SCA, yeah. it's not just a car event. You meet amazing people. <laughs> people <laughs> coming and hugging. Jump in, jump in. Look at these guys. It's just, Mr. SV here. It's, it's yeah, just the love. You know, it's, it's the love of, of, of family gathering. It's just amazing. You can you feel win? the love in the air. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. like brother and you love. meet good people like this guy. Yeah, yeah, you meet celebrities I'm honored, like I'm I'm yeah. it's, a, it's a family, it's a, it's you're it. a part of it now. Oh man, yeah. I, feel, I feel the love right now, it's tangible it's time in here. you should join us for a full tour. See, I'll, 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 tell you, I'll tell you a secret that nobody should know about. Okay. Next year's drive will be in the UK. Oh! Yeah. So next year I'm definitely there. Um, I'm definitely that's there. a big deal. Yeah. 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 Oh man, we're gonna have a good time yeah. there. <laughs> I think oh. we're gonna enjoy it. It'll be a beautiful drive. Europe is amazing. The roads are beautiful. The weather is just perfect. The fuel is good. The uh, cars are excited. We're excited, and I think uh, Cannes would be amazing. I think all Arabs could, uh, couldn't agree more. But Cannes is the place to be. Yeah. You should be on camera more often. Really? Yesterday you were a little bit like the, 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 the ride's a bit hard. But I want to talk to you again about how it's been now you've done a proper full day in it and then we're going to talk about that watch. Actually, <laughs> I, I thought it's going to be with these kinds of seats. Yep. Like hell. Right. But with the adrenaline, yeah. with driving such a beast. You forget about it. Nothing at all. You forget about it. Nothing at all. I was enjoying every corner, every street. Yeah. I mean, following you. Dude, well, I was just going to say, I had like the pleasure of being trip. around you for most of the Thanks day. Mine, you you know, mine. When you're driving it, I, you probably don't know how good you look. <laughs> it uh, looks and sounds unreal. I found unreal. out when we, when we received them, I, I saw the shorts. Okay, cool. Yeah, I found out, yeah. Fantastic, uh, right. So, run me across this watch, because this is a special watch to you, it but, it, but it's also matching the car? The car, uh, the color of the car. Wow. This is called 55 RM55 Bubba Watson. 
This thing called the uh, the gray black. It's limited for 50 pieces. And it matches your car. Perfectly. Yeah, and as you can see, that's what it's do. That's exactly what it looks like. Oh wow! Look at it. It's an incredible thing to look at. Is look at how God, you, it's the mechanism is actually floating. Yeah, this guy. I'm in love with this guy. He knows what he's this doing. This Richard, yeah, he knows exactly <laughs> what, what he's doing. He's using a lot of technologies, a lot of materials no one, no one did before. Wow, isn't that fabulous? I was lucky when I found number 13. Wow, okay. So 13, so, because you are born on 13. Uh, I bought it 13. As you see, if you talk, it's talk is oh, the talk is number 13 No as one well. told the club. It's uh, it just what happened? Yes. Yeah. Wow. So it made me happy because, you know, I've been in a drama. I lost all my luggages. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 you were saying. I've been in a drama. And this, uh, so I'm just wearing my uh, Your training suit. Yeah. Whatever I stay. And it's comfortable, right? It is. With this one... And no I'm doubt, this is getting 13 miles to the gallon, right? Yes. Yes, see? <laughs> see? So I'm literally driving the car only here in Europe. I did not try it. No. I just bought the car. I drove it for one day back home. Uh -huh. Then I shipped it. Then physically, I'm, I'm, I'm driving the car. All the things I'm testing is in Europe. Here with you guys. Fantastic, right? Yeah. Well, which we're was now, amazing. Uh, really on amazing. the road to camp. I'm super excited to get there. As wonderful as this environment is, the weather down there was yeah, going to be a, yeah, yeah. a step up a few degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting then we have pictures to go by to, palm trees. Uh, yeah, we have to go to Monaco together. Let's well. do it, man. Yeah, yeah. Camp I, Monaco. I think they're expecting to arrive at 4:30. Okay, well, we got plenty of time to yeah, drive to over to there. there. You know the road. Perfect. Yeah. So awesome. we have to go with this beautiful portrait. We have to go. There she is. This is the beat. <laughs> the Let's cube. do it. of the group is so excited to get to camp they're like just, let's just go to camp <laughs> so, so who knows how it'll work out but i was just thinking to myself then actually even though we're on this road and if we were on this road on our own it would be pretty boring but there's this almost tangible camaraderie which develops when you're in a convoy of like like-minded petrol heads in great cars i mean never would i be this entertained on this stretch of road for so long when every now and again one other car from our group will come past and keep it fresh and they've got people pulling up alongside dropping some cogs and flying off and that's what sort of adds to it really just as long as you're together as a group i i kind of don't mind really so we don't we are yet to also find out now where our food stop is because as the original route plan has changed so has lunch stop so lunch destination unknown Stop one and lunch, McDonald on the right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure if you heard the audio from our sat nav just then, but you heard right. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're going to McDonald's. So the irony of this is that <laughs> I was talking about uh, the Michelin Guide and how this journey takes us to some of the finest restaurants and hotels in the land. Look, the man's got to eat, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's mostly because our destination and, and route guide has changed and everyone's just like, look, let's just get some food on the road and then make it to Cannes. <laughs> so we're stopping at Mackie D's. Ultimate road trip food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there is a McDonald's over there amongst that insanely busy crowd, but we are in Italy and we have just spotted this lovely pizzeria. So we're gonna opt for this, keep it Italian, keep it quick, the queue is smaller, and get back to the GT3. Verdict in. Um, we don't get pizza this good in most restaurants in England. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is seriously. It's really good. Like how really good. fresh does everything taste? And like juicy. And it's juicy. The bottom's really crisp. They've got like fresh basil on it. The, I saw that the guy at the back who's throwing on all these fresh tomatoes, which mm. taste like they were grown out of the back. It's amazing. There's no the, uh, Italy. Like that. Look how much <laughs> air in that. Air in that. It's, but that's all like crispy, fresh meats on there. 
There's one thing Italy do great is service, service stations. Yeah. It's like They're fantastic stations. coffee, great food. Are the best. Yeah, amazing. And I think we've made a good choice. Well, the people who are queuing for McDonald's are still in the queue. Yeah. And, and I think we'll feel arguably, pretty good I off. I think this. this is the better option, yeah. right? Mm. So good. So uh, Sam's not having much luck with driving this car recently. Every time I hand him the keys, there's something, it's, it rains, he gets stuck behind traffic. But never did we believe that we'd be stuck at a traffic lights with 21 minutes delay. Look at this, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, and the road was getting so, <laughs> so good, good, so open. Well, hopefully, for Sam, <laughs> we get to go up that road and there'll be something fantastic that, that winds its way through the mountains. But there's worse traffic lights to wait at. For sure, the scenery's incredible. But I've never, I've never heard of this. Waiting for 20 minutes. Do you think it's just a one way road and they I have to allow lots of traffic stuff. through? Yeah, it's gotta be. Well, let's see how it goes. We were stuck at a traffic light for 21 minutes we've been entirely split up from the group it's a real shame however because we were with the group we obviously felt obliged to stay with the group but now that they've gone so far ahead we have found ourselves in this incredible french village just past the italian border where sam's gonna whip out maestro photography skills and we're gonna uh, use this backdrop Better as an excuse to make some fantastic pictures. This for me is actually what road trips are, are all about. Because we're with a big group, we have to like try our best and stick as a pack. And you know, unfortunately we do skip incredible, just look at that backdrop. We do unfortunately skip incredible places like this, but now that Sam and I are on our own, we get to make the most of it, capture some photography that we can share with you guys on Instagram, and ultimately immerse in what the whole road trip lifestyle is all about. Discovering beautiful locations and amazing cultures. After that uh, fantastic detour through stunning French countryside villages, or should I say alpine villages, winding roads, great scenery, we've now wound our way down to our final destination, which is Cannes. We are entering the Croisette right now, and we are looking for the Hotel Martinez, uh, which I believe is not too far from the Carlton, which I believe is down there on the left. So, we're gonna take a swift trawl down here, See if we can spot anything cool on the way, and I'll ultimately call it a day at our hotel. As parking spaces go, you couldn't get much more central. The guys at the Martinez have very kindly wedged it right between the main columns outside the front door. Very kind because we are right on the Croisette here. Absolutely stunning backdrop. But that's it. That is my time joining the Supercars Club of Arabia Tour. Now, Michelin and the group are continuing on and they're ultimately ending up in Spain. I'm gutted I can't join, but this has been a flavor, a taste of the flavor of how cool this group is. You've seen the cars, you've seen the people. Everyone's fantastic. The driving roads today have been wonderful and I just want to do more. Now, I am trying to get over to Dubai towards the end of this year. So with some luck, I can join up with SCA again and maybe we can do some more awesome trips. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. I shall see you soon. Ciao.